Okay. Uh, Anirudh, and today I will be teaching you subtraction. So today in this video, I will be starting off at uh, the basics of addition. So in addition, um, I mean subtraction, the basics of subtraction. So, uh, so example, we're doing single digit today, and we're gonna do double digit. So it's actually pretty easy if you, uh, and I'll try my best to make you guys understand it. Okay, so uh, let's suppose, let's start off with a number like uh, 9 minus 3. Okay, 9 minus 3. When we do 9 minus 3, uh, what we want to do, uh, we want to um, learn some strategies. So there are many strategies, but the one I find easiest is the standard way, or for some people, they might use their fingers. So let's do the finger strategy today. So in the finger strategy, you first put up nine fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is a big alien hand. Anyway, nine fingers. <laughs> okay, nine fingers. So now uh, we want to subtract three. How are we going to subtract three? Subtracting three is uh, similar to addition, except you take away. You don't add, you take away. So we have nine fingers here, and we take away three. So one, two, three. Now, with your leftover, count your leftover. So let's switch color. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six would be your answer. So this is a quite simple way, especially when you do single digit. Uh, using fingers is uh, the strategy most people use. I don't know about you, but sometimes, honestly, I also use it sometimes. So uh, now that we learned how to do single digit, now I think you guys understood some things. So now let's go on to double digit. Okay, double digit. So suppose we have a question like, I'll start off at easy and then I'm going to slowly build up in double digit. So we, have, we start off at, let's say, 20. 29 29 okay and we minus 13 how are we gonna do this it's quite easy it's almost like addition but it's the opposite like i said you don't add in this you take away in this so let's take away okay so let's start off at the ones column like addition at the ones column, we start off with nine minus three. Pre like in the previous single addition, a single addition question, nine minus three equals six. Yeah, easy peasy. Six. Oh god. Six. Mm -hmm. Now we go on to our tens column. Wait, just saying. Uh, whenever you have uh, something like um, uh, extra number, you shouldn't actually have in a, in subtraction. You don't have any um, extra numbers. For example, like 18, you don't add the 8 here, and you know that, that that shouldn't usually come. But if it does, you do do carry forward like in addition. It sometimes it it ha fairly happens, but if that happens, do uh, carry forward. But usually it doesn't. So now that we got it, we don't have any number that's greater than 10. So we don't carry forward. So now we go on to our next the number. 2, the tens column. 2 minus 1. It's not really 2 minus 1. It's actually called 20 minus 10. Because it's the tens. So 20 minus 10. Let's see. So 2. Or you can just take away your zeros for e if it's easier. 2 minus 1. 1. So one, so we add one, and then we have six equals sixteen. Very easy. So we have our uh, answer sixteen here. So basically, that's pretty much it. But sometimes you might get some other question, some other things like um, uh, let's say, let's think about it. Ah, 
Uh, we have something uh, uh not like twenty uh not like twenty nine, but we have a zero in the ones place. That's above it, above the uh, thing. So this doesn't really happen. This when you clench something like this, I know. Uh, some when I when I was first doing subtraction, I was like, what? What are we gonna do? So what you do when you come to any situation like this, when your uh top number is lesser, I mean it's like units, uh, uh the ones column is lesser than the bottom number. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do something called uh. Sub, uh, also similar like carry following, but it's called borrowing. Borrowing. Like when you borrow something from your friend, it's called borrowing. So if you want to write that down, write that down. Or the definition is in a, a Google. So it's called borrowing. Okay. Basically what happens in borrowing is this number borrows uh, 10 or like any digit. My, it subtracts 1. From its neighbor so zero what it does to one two it takes away one ten it happens to always it minus is one so minus two minus one equals one so this now is not two anymore it's declared as one da -da -dun -da -dun. so now this number you have here is one Okay, now that you borrowed from your neighbor, you <coughs> sorry, add uh, your uh, borrow bar the thing you borrowed, which is your ten or hundred or depends on the column. The you borrowed, you add it here. So you always add one because you always have to borrow like uh, ten or hundred, and you put one for sure. So now this number over here, this zero, does not become zero anymore. When you add a digit on top of it that you borrowed, it now becomes ten. So ten minus three. What is ten minus three? Uh, I don't know. Of course, ten minus three is seven. So we add seven here. Now we go on to our tens. In tens, we have one. The two we turn the two into a one, so it's one and one minus one zero. So that's our answer. Seven. Seven is our answer. So I've now showed you guys some of the ways of how to do single digit subtraction and double digit uh, uh, subtraction i hope you guys learned something today and basically that's it through this video uh watch my other videos uh i will be talking about uh other topics too in mathematics like fractions decimals percentage anything you name it although sometimes not i'm not really a big fan of algebra anyway uh i hope you guys learned something throughout the video video and um Leave some comments in the comment section. Tell me if I could, if you have any questions. If you couldn't understand anything, I'll try my best and respond to it uh, and try to improve myself. If you guys have any suggestions that could make it easier for your learning, so uh, that's through that's it through the class, guys. Uh, you, if you keep following these methods, you'll truly get your math success soon. So, hope you guys uh, got, uh, got something, and uh, have a good day. And subscribe to my channel, and you guys will become, like, a math geek. In a good way, in a good way. So, so, subscribe to my channel, and leave some comments or questions in the sec in the comment section. And if you guys w uh, were a little confused, and uh, thought you, you wanted some other strategies, in my description, I have some other links that may help you. So, feel free to go in on to them and learn other things. So, thank you, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, have a good day. And uh, you'll get uh, good luck if you're doing any exams and we're preparing for it. And that's all. That's all I have to say. So, bye, guys. And, um, yeah, basically, that's it.